Hello, fellas! <clears throat> What's up? Oh shit, fuck! I didn't get the fucking PS5! I'm, oh, I'm such an idiot! I'm such an idiot! It's okay. At least I've got the stream set up this time. Hey, hey. What do you think? This is the perfect song for me to come back to! I'm so happy this is what's playing right now! Really loudly, too! Jesus Christ! Hang on. Fuck it all. How's it going, gamers? I'll grab the PS5. Opinion on Oppenheimer without spoilers? I thought it was a fucking fantastic film. I, I mean, I, you know, my initial thoughts I put on Letterboxd, um, I just, yeah, I was just taken aback. I was in awe. I thought it was fucking phenomenal. Just as a piece of storytelling film, character study, um, the message of it, all, like, what it was trying to say, but, like, yeah, I just, yeah, no. Fantastic movie. I uh, really loved it. <clears throat> Cinema is truly healing, really, at the end of the day, isn't it? You know, with all the great films that we're seeing, I think, you know, as much as we still get the, the classic Disney schlock, there's a lot of good stuff, you know, which is really nice. Oh, man, I'm so glad Price of Freedom was the song that I came, I, I came back to. That was great. That was really great. This is 10 hours. This is a 10 hour version. We're gonna skip, we're gonna skip. Uh, I need to grab the PS5. Because I've left it downstairs. Um, which is really annoying. Where's the TV? Oh yeah, the TV's not there. Um, Elva's got it. It's in, it's in our bedroom. Um, but, you know, you know. Um, but, it's fine. Sorry. I was half, like, reading through chat, then my mind just, yeah, completely zoned out. Um, but... Barbenheimer's been so good for cinema. It truly has. That and Tom Cruise. Um, with fucking, you know, Mission Impossible and, uh, obviously Top Gun Maverick. Um, doing bits and bobs. <clears throat> Can't wait to watch both Oppenheimer and Barbie. Can watch them on the same day. Yeah, that's what I. That's what we did like yesterday. 
It was a whole day. It was great. It was really fun. They were both very good. Um, I need to go get the PS5. Instead of dicking around. Let me just go grab it. Let me go grab it while I have to, while I am just here. Whoop. That remote popped up on screen. I forgot I had that. <laughs> hey, Siege. Uh, I'll be two seconds. I'll be two seconds. Tom Cruise is an alien that's been sent down to save cinema. Amazing. When you're adding 16 music. Oh yeah, true. True. I need to add 16 music. That'd be a great that's a great point. Thank you, Chris, for the six months. I appreciate that. Thank you, Thank you, Sam for the 16 months. I hate Tom Cruise with his <laughs> misaligned teeth. It scares me. I see it in my sleep. His singular front tooth yeah. staring at me, mocking yeah. me. I remember when that was a meme back in the days. I remember when that Tom, the Tom Cruise having a centrally aligned tooth was like, it was a meme all over Facebook back in like, you know, 2010, 2009 maybe. Those, those were the days. Those were the days, man. I miss it. I miss it. I miss the days when that was fun. I, <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Um... Yeah, my brain has gone to mush. I, I said this uh, I said this on Elva's Discord, but why is this version of a head on our way such bad quality? Can you guys hear that too? Why does it sound like shit? I don't know. Um But I get such like bad anxiety when I haven't streamed in ages. I find it so difficult to go live. I've been like meaning to go live for like a while. And I just can't like I just struggle to do it. Like the thought of hitting the go live button, I'm like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's been too long since I've last been live. I just can't bring myself to do it, um, which is weird. But you know, it just do be like that sometimes, I suppose. Um, it's way easier to go live when I've been live lots, and I'm just like going live every other day or whatever. But you know, Alfie, thank you so much for this nine months. Appreciate that. Remember back in the day. We would go out with the boys to hunt some deer and provide for our families. I just do. I miss it. I miss those days. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm not going to be chatting much. I'm getting the 16 Platinum today. Oh, yeah. That's good shit. I, we're, we're aiming for it. We're aiming for the Plat, but, you know, how, who knows how long it's going to take us. Um, but, you know, it do be like that. It do be like that. Six is my second favorite Final Fantasy soundtrack. I don't know where it ranks for me. I, I've got a... I've got to wait a bit, I think. Let it let it let it sink in a little bit. Thank you so much, Siege. Vantasia. So much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Um yeah, I think I need to I need to sit on it for a bit. It's got a very good soundtrack though. Like, you know, tracks like Twilight or Our Terms is another great one when you get to the the I I don't wanna actually spoil it until we're playing the game. I don't wanna say anything that could possibly be spoilers, but Final Fantasy 16 has a banger soundtrack for sure, for sure, and I think it channels a lot of classic Final Fantasy while also sounding distinct and different and very much like you know, Sokken style, which I think is just really nice. Um, so it's yeah, I think we're gonna have to sit on it, but it's definitely I think it's gonna age. I think 16 in general is a game that's gonna age quite well for me. I think in a year, two years from now, I'm gonna look back on it and be like, God, what a great fun game that was and that I loved so but 
but you know, you know, it is like that. <clears throat> but um, but yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to keep up with chat. Thank you for subbing. <clears throat> Timeless River. Oh, I don't think I do have Timeless River. Suck James been a while. Hey Mac, thank you so much. I appreciate you. It's worth the 21 months, dude. Uh, I've been working my way through your Final Fantasy playthroughs on YouTube. Thought I'd come over and sub and catch some some live stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. It's really nice whenever someone shows up and they're like, Oh, I've been watching your Final Fantasy stuff on YouTube. Just thought I'd come over to say hi. I really appreciate it. It's nice. It's nice. I never thought I would find any sort of audience for that sort of stuff, to be honest. I just made it because I, I, I just really, like, I had a lot of fun with Final Fantasies and wanted to post it. So, to have anyone watch those, st those videos is, you know, it means a lot. Um, I think the world is healing. I think I've already seen the all-time low of humanity by being on Twitter. What? Tw so what's going on with Twitter? Is Elon Musk changing Twitter to not be called Twitter anymore? Is that what's happening? Because that's what someone put in. Like there was a like a a tweet like or something in the in the Discord. I don't I don't remember what it was. But apparently, like, apparently it's just it's going to rebrand? Is that real? Is that actually happening? Because that's insane, if true. Genuinely, that's insane. Um, but, you know, who really knows at this point? Uh, I linked a video on Elvis Server about Ascension from a classic opera singer about how it's very neoclassical and how happy that makes him. That's nice. That's really nice. We do like that. Is that Mass Effect music? I think it is, right? Um, I think the world is doing the opposite of healing. Cinema might be back, but the impending doom of our planet and its copious ecosystems is not being restored by Tom Cruise doing an impossible mission. The mission, the impossible mission is saving this planet. Tom should look at that. That Scientologist prick. <laughs> to be fair, you do you raise a good point. You do raise a good point there. The world is absolutely not healing. Cinema is. But cinema can't save the world. Cinema, cinema can save our collective human consciousness. But can it save the world? No, that's down to us. And maybe, maybe you can use the medium of cinema to motivate people to save the world. Maybe that's a possibility. So maybe in a roundabout way, cinema can save the world. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh... I have no clue it's culture crave. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw. So I'm, I'm not sure the validity of it, um, because I have them blocked, because I, I don't want to see another update about fucking Deadpool. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a huge Final Fantasy nerd. Found the OG seven one first, and then eight. Your reactions to how bizarre eight is was hilarious. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I d despite what I think about eight, I did have a lot of fun with it, which is nice. Um, opinion on the writer's strike. I mean, I don't know enough about what's going on, but I obviously support the writer's strike and the writers. Fuck the corporations. Um, you know, pay pay people. <laughs> pay people what they're owed. Or what they're, what they're worth. Um... <clears throat> James, will you stop writing videos to support the strike, or are you a little bitch who supports corporate scum? I bet you're loving Secret Invasion right now, <laughs> you bastard. Is Secret Invasion now? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's the one that has the AI intro, isn't it? Which is funny as fuck. <laughs> fuck it hell. Fuck it hell, Disney. What are you playing at, Disney? Fuck's sake, Disney. Well, I've got a new video coming out in two minutes on It's Last Boy. It's another part of Final Fantasy 16. Um, I decided to coincide it releasing with the stream since I just, like, had it sitting there. I was like, oh, I'll just drop it just after I go live or something. So people see it. A, they can they can uh, tune in. They can be like, oh, maybe I'll just tune in. That'd be cool. <clears throat> Feels weird not being caught up with the MCU. Haven't watched Guardian Secret Invasion or we Werewolf Werewolf by Night. That's not real, is it? You made that up. That's not real. What the fuck's Werewolf by Night? That's not real. 
Um, Guardians is great, though. You should watch Guardians if you've not seen Guardians. That's a very, very good film. It's real? What? What is it about? Wait, it... It's MCU, Werewolf by Night. What the fuck's that? Werewolf by Night. Wait, let me have a look. Let's have a look. What the fuck was that? Oh, did that... Was that... The PS5 going, uh-oh, you didn't turn me off right. Oh, it was as well. I don't understand why. It was switched off when I unplugged it from downstairs. Werewolf by Night. It's black and white. I guess that immediately, people are, there's going to trick people into thinking it's like, it's high art. It's like Zack Snyder putting uh, Justice League in 4-3. Nah, I don't know. I've not seen it. I won't see it. I won't watch Werewolf by Night. <laughs> I'll just shit talk it from across the room. <clears throat> Twitter loved it. Yeah, I mean, Twitter loved everything. So, you know, you can find, you can find love for anything on Twitter. So I don't think that really means anything. It could be good. I don't care, though. You know? You know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm going to do what Nolan did and motivate people to use nukes again. That's a really good idea, yeah. I've heard Christopher Nolan said in an interview, I really want people to use nukes again. He said, I can't believe they stopped using nukes. It was really cool. And they stopped. And we need to start again. Um, and I thought that was quite brave. I'm going to write a movie where I am in fact Dr. Octopus. And use my eight limbs to water plants after I nuked the world. <laughs> I am an octopus because of radiation. Oh my god, could you imagine if they do that? It's a spin-off to Oppenheimer. It's, you know, the world does get nuked. And then everyone, and then it, someone's got eight limbs, and it turns out it's actually an origin story, a very elaborate origin story of a Doctor Dr. Octopus in the MCU. That'd be so epic. That'd be so epic. <clears throat> System software install. What? I've got to update my PS5. Damn it. Um, can find love for anything on Twitter, except lasers. True. That's true. Can't find love for lasers on Twitter. Doesn't exist. Um, although, not Twitter anymore, guys. X. It's going to be X from now on. Um, just nuke some useless countries like England. I mean, I mean, I would say there are, you know, other ones above that that might be, you know, more beneficial to be nuked. I think I'd put England... I mean, just objectively, like, I, I, you know, I just, you know, no, no bias or anything. I just think, you know, maybe you should put, put England down a peg or two on that list, you know, just objectively speaking, to be honest with you, just to take a step back from it and, you know, analyze the situation. I just think, I don't, yeah. I don't know, I think you need to reconsider, um, for no reason in particular. <clears throat> Australia can go, to be honest. I mean, yeah. Although, although, I feel like, I mean, that could be, like, the plot of a film. Like, Australia gets nuked, but what it actually does is, like, a byproduct of Australia being nuked is that all of the spiders become, like, massive, mutated beasts. Um, and the world then has to contend with that. It, the, the film would never, like, confront the fact that, like, lots of innocent people were murdered. Um, just the fact that, sadly, there are, like, ginormous spiders now. Very big ones, like the size of a house. Um, and then the plot of arachnophobia. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I've never seen a spider-based film before, for obvious reasons. Um, so I have no clue what they're about. 
Eight-legged freaks, I remember my mum put that on once when I was younger, and it was the most horrifying thing ever. Um, I think it was that one. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna Google it. Oh, hate it. Hate it. Yeah, 2002. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hate it. Do the spiders look real? No. Still hate it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I don't like that. Australia gets nuked while Tyler is in the UK, so he'll become Superman, except he's just a random guy who nobody understands anymore due to the Australian dialect being extinct. I mean, he just turns like a super mutant, like from Fallout. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, hey, Hefty, what's going on? Glad you could stop by. Um, I think that, what was that, um, what was that old spider-based film? I think I watched it in media, because I had to, like, analyze it or something, um, when I was doing my A-levels. It's, it's, it's an old film, and they just used a normal tarantula on, like, model sets. I forget what it's called, though. I'm pretty sure it's black and white. Like, it's old. Um, is that real? Did I just make that up? I have no idea. Um, but I remember having to watch a scene from that, and we had to analyze it from, in media. Um, to talk... It's like, it was a, it, like, it was just based on, like, composition and, like, how they used, like, the, you know, the little model set with a real spider on it to, like you know, make it convincing. Um, is it not called Tarantula? Maybe. Yeah! Wait, this is it, right? Yeah, 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 1955 Tarantula. Yeah, 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 this is it. I hate that! Dude, it's horrible! Ah, I hate it. Um, yeah, I did the same film for A levels too. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my god. <clears throat> I am back gay. I'm so glad you're back gay. I couldn't have, couldn't have, couldn't have stood if you were straight. Still, what? Any spiders or sharks? A big nope. Yeah. Uh, sharks, I don't have a problem with. Spiders, yeah, no. Nah, I'm all set. Um, you excited for Ridley Scott's new film, Napoleon? I saw that it's a thing that is coming out. Um, I've not watched the trailer for it. Will I watch it when it comes out? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm going to, I go to the cinema all the time to watch things now. I'm, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will probably, probably see it one time. To see it. Jamie, can you stop? I'm a raging homophobic. You're making me uncomfortable. Yeah, stop making Pedro uncomfortable. Alright? He's allowed hit to his, his opinion that you are heinous and need to be wiped off the face of the planet. Alright? So just tone it down, alright? <laughs> By about 5%. <laughs> That's classic. That's a classic meme. That's a classic meme! I miss those days. Do I? Not really, actually. Although, I was thinking earlier, I think, you know, I was thinking about this earlier, about the way that we used to make videos and stuff, and the way the community used to be when we had the four pillars, and like, we had this big, you know, big crossover community and stuff. So, like, it was such a different vibe. Mainly because, like, I don't know, I don't know what it was. But I was thinking about it, I was like, it's so weird, we had all, like, these alt channels where we would shitpost and, like... It was just so, so weird. I don't know. I was just thinking about how just it's just such a different vibe, but I think it was partly because we were all so young, too. Like, you know, 18, 19, you know, 20. And it... I don't know, I guess we just grew up, and so it doesn't work anymore. It's just not the same, and will never be the same. That's just how it is, you know? That's just how it is. 
You got a Discord server? I don't. Well, I do. Um, but it's for patrons only. Mainly because I delete. We did it. We did. I did just have a public Discord, but it's gone now because I hated it. Um, but it was yeah, that's a complicated thing. Um, but I do have one for patrons. Um, and I always use my girlfriend's Discord server. I'm always on that. So if you want a public server to join, you can join Elvers. Um, which I don't have a link for, so you're just gonna have to like find it yourself. Um, but that's that's all I can really give you, to be honest. Um, I think Tyler's pretty selfish for leaving the four pillars. He really decided he didn't want to therapize, pe therapize people anymore and would rather beat people up seven days a week. I know, it's ridiculous. I'll literally fight him. Myself. We'll fight. We'll battle. It'll be great. Um, I appreciate that, Hefty. I appreciate it. No, 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 no pressure or anything like that, but, you know. If so, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it that you would want to. I don't know. Sorry, I feel awkward when people say stuff like that to me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with it. <clears throat> this music. It's trance. Travis and trance. Did you ever watch Arcane? Oh, God. Mario. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I, I want to watch something animated, but I was thinking about watching an anime first because I feel like for a long time... I've said I will I will watch anime that like Hamid would recommend me, and so I'm like ah you know I'm feeling I'm feeling an anime. I just gotta pick the right one. Um, so I'll I'll have to confer with Hamid and see what Hamid says is like you know what I should watch. I would like to do that, but I also need to I do need to finish watching Doctor Who. Me and Elva have been rewatching Doctor Who since early last year it's been it's been like a year and a half since we started re-watching doctor who and we're only now getting towards the end of series seven and it's actually insane that that is what's going on um you'll love arcane it's definitely a show for you all right well i'll i'll give it a i will give it a watch at some point i've heard good things about it um MHA is very easy going for beginners. You need to watch Attack on Titan. Oh, yeah, Attack on Titan. Yeah, maybe that's the one to go for. I don't know. People always ask me to watch that, actually. I get it all the time. People are always like, oh, have you seen Attack on Titan? I'm like, no. I've not seen it. Maybe one day. Maybe that's the one to go for. <clears throat> Especially because it's, like, super relevant and everyone's talking about it. So... Um, but you know. Hey, man, I have this cooling. I close my eyes when I go to bed at 9 p.m. See my idol, Tom Cruise. He told me that I got big shoes to fill and that I need to fight my way to the top so I can stand next to him. Nose to the grindstone. I don't know why I rolled my R there. Nose to the grindstone. I'll do anything to look down at the beautiful five foot one beautiful man. That doesn't even sound like Tyler. When I do that for too long, it just does not sound right at all, does it? Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh, man. Shit. I just dropped that. I'm an idiot. Fucking stupid lens cap. We've not done a Horsey and Fox podcast in a while, which is funny. We, I've been waiting for George to finish 16. We thought we'd, He thought he'd have it done, but then he just didn't. So we've just kind of been waiting for him to finish it so we can record. Um, but, you know, it really do be like that sometimes, it's fine. Um, okay, and you'll have finished in a day. It depends if I have a day. Who knows? I'm, I have given myself the weekend off. Um, uh, today is Sunday, so the weekend's almost over. Um, and then Monday I'm gonna get started on my Red Dead Redemption 2 retrospective. Which is gonna be a hell of a project. But I've also I've also like got a sponsor for that, which uh, I've I've got locked in for September the twentieth. So I guess the video is coming out September twentieth. But you know, I only stream Spider Man two when it comes out. Uh, no, that'll be one I play in my own time. 
because uh, I also wanted to like to capture footage for it to maybe make a video. I don't know. It depends. I, I was thinking about making. I wanted to make a retrospective for Spider Man. Um. Um. Before Spider Man Two comes out, but I don't know if I want to anymore because I've not really felt much excitement for Spider Man Two. Um. Sadly. Which I know people don't don't like that, that I feel that way, but, you know. Like, I've not seen a trailer where I've, like, actually felt much. Like, I just, you know, I watch the trailers and I'm like, yep, that looks like a Spider-Man game. You know? That doesn't do much for me. I don't know what it is. It's just like, I watch it and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I guess. It is a, it looks like Spider-Man. You know? I don't know. I, I think as well for me... Like, I loved Spider-Man. I did love it. But Miles was always... That game always just resonated more with me. I just loved Miles so much more. Um, uh, and I just, you know... I watched... And I find it difficult as well, because like, they've decided to change characters' faces and stuff. Again. And it's like, guys... Like... I don't know. It's like, I just... It, it just, it feels a bit, like, I don't know, soul-crushing. Because it's like, I don't know. I, I just It just lacks any sort of artistic integrity. Like, why design a character if it doesn't matter? What's the point? What's the point in designing a character if it doesn't matter? Like, if you're just going to change it on a whim for the next game, what, like, what's the point? Like, what's the point? Um, the characters look better. I, uh, I don't, I don't think that matters anyway. Even if they do look better, which I don't think they do, but even if they do, like, how can a design be, like, inherently better? Like, I just, I don't know. It's just... I don't know, I, I find it difficult to articulate it. But, I mean, it, like, it always bothered me with Assassin's Creed. Like, I mentioned it in my AC1 retrospective. Like, for some reason, like, there's just no artistic consistency across those first five games with the returning characters. And, I mean, like, it continues into, like, Valhalla and stuff. Like, characters that reoccur just look totally different. They just, like, change the design completely. And... It's like, well, why, why bother designing a character at all? It just, like, it just irks me. Because it just feels like it just lacks any sort of integrity. Like, did you design Peter to look that way because it, because it served your vision better and that's what you imagined Peter to look like or not? Because you've changed him and he looks different, like, totally different. He gives off such a different vibe. And so, it, you know, it's just like, like... Why? I just don't, you know? It's just, it's just a bit odd to me. <clears throat> and it just, it just rubs me the wrong way a little bit. But, you know, it's whatever. Most people aren't going to give a shit. So, you know, who cares? But, it just makes me, it just makes me feel a bit like, eh, eh. <laughs> MJ looks smashable now. Not a stupid feminazi anymore. I need a visceral sex scene between her and Peter and Spider-Man 2 or I'm out. I saw a... Someone did actually say that to me. When I brought up the whole face thing, someone replied, well, well, at least MJ looks hot now, so I'm not complaining. I'm like, ugh. Touch grass. Touch grass. Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat> Peter's the only different. No, no, no. MJ looks totally different. Her face structure is totally different. They've also, they've also like Harry looks nothing like the pictures we saw in Spider-Man One. And also, for some reason, Mister Negative looks different now. And it's not just the long hair and the beard. Like his face looks different. Like they've just changed. It's so weird. Um, I also don't see the argument they've made MJ prettier because they haven't. No, I agree. They also haven't. Like, which is that sounds that sounds mean. Um. Because that's kind of mean to say, but, like, I don't think they have. Like, maybe it's just because her hair, like, maybe 
people just have, like, a blind spot. Like, they're like, oh, her hair is, like, you know, more stereotypically attractive now. Therefore, she just it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just... Her, like, I connected the performance and the character writing with the character design. And when one breaks, it just, like... Or when one changes, I feel it breaks the whole thing for me. It makes it very difficult. Um, and, like, when I think about Spider-Man PS4 in my head, as much as I was coping fucking hard when the remaster came out, dude, I'm thinking about the original design. Like, I'm not thinking about the new one. The fucking... The most basic-looking Peter Parker ever. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about that original version. Um... And it's, like, I can't deny it. Like, I'm always going to imagine those original designs from the original game. And I think that is annoying. Because it means that I've got these different, in my head, these different fit. Like, it's just so irritating. Like, just leave the character design the same. What's the point? I don't know. Like, obviously there must be a point. Um, I mean, their, their whole thing with, with Peter was that, oh, it's because now it's closer to the motion capture actor it means that the rigging is better, which means that the animations look better. And, like, I'd sacrifice animation quality for the sake of artistic consistency, I think, personally. Um, but, apparent, but, like, obviously Sony doesn't think that because they love graphics. And everything's got to have the best fucking graphics. Um, which, you know, I just think is a bit annoying. Um... I hope they improved the boob models. Um, yeah, I think it ruins immersion in a way, too. Um, she's more or less the same hotness. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty, she's, she's pretty, but they haven't gone out of the way to make her a model. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. And I mean, I think that, I think that was the same in the original, which is what's so weird about it, because... They've gone for the same vibe. She just now looks different. It's just like, why? I don't know. Um, and it's odd because, like, you talk about, like, character rigging and animation stuff, but, you know, Laura Bailey plays Nadine in Uncharted, and the character animation in that is fucking incredible. It looks great. And, I mean, Laura Bailey doesn't look like Nadine, you know? So, what are we, what are we talking about? I don't understand that, you know? It's so, it's such an odd, I don't know. It can't be because of rigging. No, it can't be. Well, I mean, it could be. Maybe it's easier. Maybe Naughty Dog just put more stock in artistic integrity. And so they're like, well, this is what the character looks like. This is what we've designed the character to look like. This is what they will look like. We'll put the extra money and effort in to, you know, keeping that consistent. And Insomniac are just like, meh. No, I guess we won't. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's time and money and pressure from higher-ups, and they're just like, we need to cut corners. Like, I don't really know. You can't know. You can't know. Um, but, yeah. They want to improve the expressions and therefore completely fucked up the integrity of character designs. No one likes the new face better or for the expressions. The OG face in 2018 when Aunt May dies and he cries looks so much more authentic. Sure, the new character design emotes more realistically, I guess, but that's not the Peter we see and hear crying. It's just a better face model. Exactly. Exact. yeah, I completely agree. I completely agree. Like, in my head when I imagine that scene, I'm not thinking about the remastered character model. I'm thinking about that original one. Because that's the one I connected with. That's the one that the performance was linked to. That's the character that the, the, the character design that was built for this version of Peter Parker. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> so, you know, it's, you know. Naughty Dog is like, we'll put the extra money in place to put this white woman in digital blackface. Classic. Classic Naughty Dog. I mean, they're called Naughty Dog for a reason. They're naughty because they do that. Um, they can be confirmed by their work on the last was part one remake cutscenes as they use their old mocap without face capture. 
true. Um, imagine those Aunt May flashbacks and she's just way different. <laughs> imagine that. That would be so fucking funny, dude. That would be so funny. I think the only character that stayed very much the same is Norman Osborn. Because, like, even Miles is obviously got his new hairstyle. Um, but my hard take is that I actually do prefer new Spider-Man, but I've re but I've played remastered more than PS4 now. Oh, I think I've played remastered more too. I've played remastered twice, and I've played the original once. I think. Um, so you know, Laura Blazer plays Abby too. Look, okay, what? Laura Bailey plays Abby too, yes. Um, I really don't think rigging is the issue. It just feels like Marvel probably wants it to move more similar to Tom Holland or any MCU animations to keep consistent. <sighs> I don't think so, because then why have they changed MJ? I just don't, like... I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Especially because it's not like... This, that's the thing, right? Like, the design wasn't badly received. Like, you know? He doesn't look like Tom Holland. Well, no. But he does look like a generic white man. Which you could say any, any white man does. But I think there's also, like, I don't know. He just looks a bit more generic. You know, just like some guy... Whereas I think there was a unique aspect to that original design, you know? But But yeah, like 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 you say, Laura Bailey does also play Abby. Um, you know, you've got, like, uh, like, Troy Baker plays Joel, you know, like, they don't look like these characters, and I, I, I think as well, like, something I really dislike in modern gaming, especially AAA games, is this reliance on actors using their faces for the character, because it's a medium that transcends having to do that. Like, it physically transcends the limitations of an actor having to, like, the character having to look like an actor. It literally doesn't. It doesn't. Like, this is the whole point of video game. Like, you can literally design the character to look like the character that you envisage in your head. Like, that's the point. Like, Joel would not be better off for looking identical to Troy Baker. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And the same for, like, um, I'm trying to think of, like, other examples. Um, uh, I mean, Final Fantasy is a great one, because they don't do that. Like, you look at um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Imagine if they didn't look like the characters, they just <laughs> look like the actors. It'd be so silly. Um, <clears throat> oh, my God. Not again. Not a get. We'll leave it. We'll let it play. Um, but yeah, I, I I just think Persona Fiber with Chris Pratt doesn't sixteen but loosely base Clive off of his voice actor. I don't. I don't think he look. No, nah, he doesn't look like. No, Clive doesn't look anything like Ben Star, really. Um. It's the same hair colour, I guess. But I I do think that video games allow for... Yeah, transcending the boundaries of regular acting. And I think that's special to the medium. And to, to, to stop doing that so that you can digitally recreate actors is bad. And I hate it, and they need to stop. Um, but, like, I, I just, like... Imagine in animation, right? Like, imagine if in animation... They just started making the, like, the, all of the animated characters based on actors. Like, I know some do, obviously. Sometimes that is the case, but... Like, the whole idea is that the actor can lend their performance to a character that exists, like, separate. Like, they then bring this character to life. 
and you're not you don't have the constraints of like what you have in traditional like stage performances or television or film you, you can create a character that is unique and looks like this character and you have an actor just lend their performance to it I feel like it's super limiting to be like no the character has to look like the actor now too it's a novelty it's a novelty that makes people want to buy a thing and I think they've sussed that out like you look at Cal Kestis, like, you know, looking like, it's like, oh, it's the actor, so it's so cool, and then, and then people are like, oh, will he be in a Disney Plus show, because he looks, you know, the actor looks like the character, so we have a unique opportunity to f shoehorn him into every fucking Star Wars project, even though they won't do it, but, like, Star Wars fans will fucking froth at the mouth over that, um, a million fucking incredibly mid Star Wars projects featuring Cal Kestis. Oh my god. Shark Tower with <laughs> Will Smith fish. <laughs> oh man. Jesus. Imagine anime. Anime but with where, where actors <laughs> where where characters have the actors' faces. That would be so fucking funny. That'd be so good. Oh my god. I mean, isn't Vader an OG version of video, video game motion capture, like rudimentary? But James, and also Earl Jones, lent his voice, and the actor who played him added that layer of physical performance. James and also Earl Jones wouldn't have been able to do. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That is true. Like, it's very similar to what Naughty Dog does, in a way. Like, you look at the way Naughty Dog does, like, a character like Abby. They're like, right, we want, this is how we want Abby to look, but... You know, we then take the performance of the actor who embodies the who can embody the character, and I like you know, I quite like that that they they come up with a character and they're like, right, this is what the character looks like, and then what they will do to obviously make the process easier is find an like at someone in real in real life that looks close enough to that design, and then use them, which is what they did with Abby, but the physicality and like the body of Abby doesn't look anything like the person whose face they used like she doesn't look like that in real life she's not well built and like you know fucking huge like abby is and but so they added that you know and then you use laura bailey's performance and it all comes together to create a character um which i think is really good um naughty dog are you know some of the best in the game at doing that um and I think, you know, Rockstar as well, I think they get that too. Like, you know, imagine if Arthur Morgan just looked like Roger Clark. Like, it's not the same. You know, it's just not the same. Um, I mean, obviously there's the aspect of, like, they use the faces of the actors in um, uh, GTA V. But then it's, like, it's weird for me to describe, like, why that's different. Because I'm like, but that's just different, you know? Because... Because I don't, like, when I when I play GTA V, like, I don't think, like, oh, that's this actor. I think that's the character first. And then you, you see those those actors in another thing. Like, Tre the guy that plays Trevor, obviously, has been in other stuff. I think, oh, my God, that's that's Trevor, but that's real-life Trevor. It's like, the, it's like the other way around for GTA. And it's probably because they picked actors that aren't super well-known, which is why it just worked. Um, because I, th I think that works. Like, if, if you're going to use an actor's face in a game, I think it makes more sense to use one that people don't know well, because then they can embody the character. Especially if you think that actor particularly embodies the character's visuals too, then it makes sense. But if you're, if it's a well-known, high-profile actor that is in, like, a million different games, we're going to start to just start seeing characters with the same faces across multiple games. And it's gonna be weird. And I don't like that. Um, I think the guy who plays Trevor was in uh, Better Call Saul, right? I've not seen it, but... I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, should we should start playing some Final Fantasy, I think. Um, actually, Steven Ogg has expressed his disdain for Trevor because he doesn't have a fucking identity anymore. He's just Trevor. Oh, that's... That's a shame. I, although I get it. 
I, I do get it, you know? If people just see you as Trevor, and they're like, Oh, you're Trevor, like... And you don't have any opportunity to expand beyond that and spread your wings and do more with, you know, your acting that you obviously are passionate for. That's just... Yeah. Like, I get it. I get it. Uh, I think there's be a reason to keep the same face, like... If they found a, a buff Laura Bailey... If they, if they had found a buff Laura Bailey, that wouldn't work, I guess. It's more about the fact that lots of actors transcend their appearance with the performances and can play anyone. However, in GTA, actors do kind of play those characters. Play those kind of characters so they fit all the criteria. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, to be honest, but there you go. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to go pee. That's the wrong button. Ah, oh, yeah, classic. All right, I'm gonna go pee and then we're gonna play Final Fantasy. Give me a sec. Hi, it's me, I'm back. It's gamer time, perm me, what, like, for a link, you mean? Okay, yeah, I could do that. Hold on. Okay, shit. How do I do it again? Uh, does that work? How do you do it? I don't know how you do it. Jamie, are you here? Jamie, please. Permit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't work. I don't know how it works. Um, this is this is what happens when I don't have Flash. Flash is my only mod, really, to be honest with you. Maybe I don't have it.
Like, let's be honest. Flash really is the only mod that knows what they're doing. On Twitch. What is this? It's a Google Drive link. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, what is this? Whoa! Wait. Yeah, that's so cool. That's sick. I like that. <laughs> that that scratches something in my brain. I really like the 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 the, the lens blur. That's sick. I love that. That's so cool, man. I really like that. That looks awful. <laughs> that looks awful. That's all you could do. Pathetic. I think Mario's just been bullied one too many. Was that a bird? I think Mario's been bullied one too many times. Now he's projecting. Um, okay, let's do it. New game plus. Wait, can I turn this off? Where's the game sound? I can't hear the game at all. Can anyone else hear the game? I think it is. The game is there. Yeah, there it is. It's just really quiet. Evil kid is here. <laughs> Evil kid. Final Fantasy mode. Let's fucking go. Replay the game in Final Fantasy mode with data carried over from the previous playthrough. In this mode, the level cap is raised to 100, but enemies are far more powerful. To aid you in your journey, the legendary Ultima weapon is available for crafting. After starting, you'll be unable to switch over to story or action-focused mode. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. This is going to be sick and cool and very good. <laughs> it's like my third Blender project, Sag. <laughs> Mario, you literally spend years of your life watching and editing The Rise of Skywalker. That is true, isn't it? That is something you did. Reminds me of when Ouija Kun used to make an edit for Horsey and Fox, and Ollie would just go, well, that was a bit of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ouija Kun. I completely forgot that guy. Dude, whatever happened to him? All, all I remember is, like, he knew a girl who's, like, like, her nudes got leaked, and then somebody was, like, spamming them to our community members. And we didn't know what to do about it, other than to ban and block them. And it was, it was horrible. Um... And that was a, that was a that was a whole era, and then he just vanished. And I still like look. I can't say this right because it's obviously not like you know. There's no confirmation, but I think he has something to do with it. That's all I'm saying. I think he has something to do with it. Um, because look, that's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Wait, 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 wait. Begin the game following the fall of Phoenix Gate. Yeah, we don't need to play. We don't need to play the prologue again. He got banned. Oh, wait, really? Wait, so you can post links? Oh, I don't know why this... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm getting anxiety about being a pedo, even though he wasn't. No, that wasn't Ouija Coon. That was Spots. That wasn't... <laughs> that wasn't Ouija Coon. Or W.J. Cohen. Uh, yeah, we'll play after the fall of Phoenix Gate. We don't need to play that again. We'll start from, yeah, after after that, when the game brings us back into the world. I don't want this to be too loud. What? Yeah, no, that was Spots. That was Spots that was, um, that was scared that he was going to be a nonce. Like, he had, th like, he didn't, he wasn't, he didn't have nonce thoughts. He had, he had worries that he would be a nonce. He was like, he had no, like, he had no attraction to children. He was just worried that he would, Sorry. which makes no, like, that's crazy. That makes no sense. Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't things any easier. <clears throat> you don't get a choice? What, what? What do you mean you don't get a choice? What does that mean? I love these. These are my favorite characters. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. 
Tiamat and Avis, my favorite Final Fantasy characters of all time. I love these guys. These are these are these are classic characters. I just when when you get to the end of the game and Tiamat like you know has that epic mo moment with the that epic quote. I can't quite remember what he says. I don't know if someone in chat can remember that classic line from Tiamat at the very end of the game, but it's um one of my favorite moments in the whole game. He's just so epic. He's so epic. Um, isn't it crazy that eventually you'll say, I wonder what happened to that guy about everyone in this chat because we'll eventually we'll move on with our lives or die. I don't like that. Don't say that. I hate that thought. Because when it happens, yeah, it's normal because the community evolves and changes and you end up with new people. Um, and, like, things evolve and change. But when you when I think about that, I'm like, everyone in this chat will at some point move on with their lives and never watch me again. That's really sad. <clears throat> he says it's Diamat time. True, he does. Um, the fuck are you talking about? I, <laughs> that's a good question, isn't it? Imagine someone joining him for some Final Fantasy game and James is talking about a scared nonce. He's not, it wasn't a nonce, he was just worried that he might be. Um, Clive, yeah he did, that's true. When we found out that Tiamat was actually Clive's father, I lost it. Champ. I was back chesting hey, all James over the place. Hey James, here for the last stream of yours I'll ever watch. <laughs> no, please, <laughs> Bob. Thanks for 28 months. You all coming to my wedding? Ah, oh, I'd love to come to your wedding, Mario. If you ever get some bitches, <laughs> um, don't be anxious about your anxiety. It will get worse. True, true. Um, do you know what's crazy, guys? Do you know what's fucking crazy? I've not. I've been off my medication now. For I, I take like two different kinds of medication. I've been off. I've been off it now for like four days, which is pretty crazy. You know, I'm just waiting for things to go downhill again. But um. It's crazy. I've been I've been getting out of bed at like 7 a.m. How crazy is that? It just goes to show that my medication completely neutered me. <laughs> Down there. Hell yeah. I'll probably be here till I die at least. Oh, I mean, I, that's cool. I hope so. Um, anxiety is deeply irrational. True. True. Classic pipe face quit anxiety. Don't worry about it, mate. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry, just don't worry about it. It's her. Shiva's dominant. I wonder who she is. James, you know this isn't real, right? What do you mean? You aren't live. You aren't playing a game. Oh, no. Oh, no. In the end, we're all scared nonces. In the end, we're all scared nonces. Uh, it's where we've known each other for yonks now. I think we're just past stopping turning up. True. I think it depends. Like, I think for some people, we're always kind of going to be, you know, entwined as pals. Lacerated Lass. I never noticed that was her name. Lacerated Lass. <laughs> Oh my god. I miss, I tell you what I do miss, and I feel like I talk about this at least like once every three months, is I miss the days when I'd be live and I'd be playing some like Brotherhood open world side quests and then I'd like raid into, it wasn't like a real raid because we were streaming on YouTube, but like I'd, everyone would then go over to George's stream and he'd do a couple hours of like Assassin's Creed Unity tying up loose ends. And then from there, We'd all go into one of Ethan's streams, where he'd be like playing some fucking Skyrim or something. Ah oh, man, those were the days, dude. Those were the fucking days. Hey, look at this. Okay, hang on, I'm trying to... Oh, 
What am I doing? I forgot how to play the game. Ah, no! <laughs> Don't do me like that, chill. Wait, I need to... Hang on. Oh, what did I even do there? I don't remember what that does. Oh, wait. We're gonna... We're gonna build up this meter. Okay. That's good. Is there a quicker way to build up the Zantetsuka meter? Ah, oh, you bitch. Um... I don't even recall those days, so I watched around 2018. Oh man. It was the 2016 days were full of vibes, I'm telling you. Maybe it's how many uh, dodges you do in quick succession or something. Hey, there you go. Level 5. Very good. Okay, let's hit with one of these. Wait. Wait, go! Let's do it, level 5! Did that even... Did that, did something fuck up there? I feel like that second hit didn't do any damage. I'm unsure now. Still quite weak, I think, in the grand scheme of things. Um, parry with Odin's sword. Oh uh, wait, how? Oh parry, yeah, of course. I'm really bad at parrying though. She's not even fully tuned. Pull her down. Uh, shit. <clears throat> the most difficult part about streaming 16 is not being able to read chat mid-fight like you can in the old... See, that's actually why the old Final Fantasy games are better. Because you're able to read chat. They, they preempted that people would want to do Twitch streams when they made the old Final Fantasy games. And you can just, like, you can read chat mid-combat, so it makes it better. Oh god. Ow. Okay, well... I'm actually really good at games. I don't know if you guys know this. Not many people know I'm really good at games. Um, it's a common misconception, yet a bit romantic. Hey, we won. <clears throat> Those were the good days before the depression. True. 2017, yeah. 2016, 2017 vibes. Those were the days. Those were the days. When we'd all we'd all go around, watch different streams. It was fun. I'm yet to even try Odin abilities, and I'm deep in my new game in new game plus. I've not used um, Shiva yet much. Uh, I really like Zantek Sukun, but I'm not a huge fan of like the the actual icon abilities for Odin. I don't know, or maybe I just don't know how to use it. Oh my god! It's wait, is that Jill? I have no idea! Remember when she was just a little girl? No, 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 that's... Not you. <clears throat> Not me. I'll bloody do it then. Do the enemies have new abilities and tactics with yourself? I think some bosses... Oh, no, not Avis. I think uh, some, of, some of the bosses have, like, different movesets. Maybe, I'm not sure. But they, they, they change the way the enemies spawn in the world. I think is the main thing with this difficulty, right? Turn up game? Okay. 
I got you. Let me know how that is. That might be too loud now, I'm not sure. It's too loud for me anyway. Um, how did do you like the game? Uh, following playthrough on YouTube. I, overall, loved it. That doesn't mean I think it's flawless or anything. It definitely has flaws and issues and things that I would love to change if I could Sorry. mold the game into my own perfect image. But despite those things, I still the game still resonated with me. And I think more than anything, that's the most important part. Um, I think what I I I, I said this since I started playing this game, but I will be most disappointed if when seventeen comes out, they don't change anything. I just need more RPG stuff, really. That's just what it comes down to, I think. Wait, let's hit this. <clears throat> Pussy. <laughs> what kind of pronouns are did do? Uh, mine, bigot. Hey, I won. Now that that's done. Hope side quests remain completed in New Game Plus. Again, that Make would be great, be but I, I don't think they do. Because I, I that's not how New Game Plus I works. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. Oh, I do I love this bit. survive. Yeah, fuck you! I was lying! Tiamat's not at the end of the game because he's gonna die right fucking here! So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take you I told you, Sergeant. I'm dying here today. Oh, you motherfucker! What the fuck was that shit? Are you fucking serious, bro? Wait, so let's hit- let's try and hit those parries. Hang on. That's where you hit him at the same time he hits you, right? Okay, that didn't work. Fuck, wait, how do you... How do you... How the fuck do you parry? It is just by hitting him at the exact same time, right? Oh, that was... That was, was that a parry? No, I just think... No, I think I just... Uh, I got the stagger meter up. I think that's what that was. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna figure this out. Just give me a sec. Oh, there you go. I hit a parry. I hit a parry. Oh, right. I see. That's how you get the... That's really cool. Okay, I'm just really bad at parrying. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to practice that. Oh, dude. Look at me go. Look at me fucking go. No, I missed. Hang on. This is a good staggering one. Yes. Okay, let's go. Did I do that right? I think I did that right. Okay. Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Have you forgot who? Plucked this nuts. There you go. You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name. Hey, look, I'm getting good at that. Hey, I just got a trophy. That's Still one step closer to our goal of getting the plat. Life. Let's go. You will die. Okay, I'm you really bad. Just stop. Ago. Dude, fucking stop. You suck. <laughs> Hey, look at us fucking go, dude. Um, his health is the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they are. I guess they're. I mean, they are sponges. But like the point, it is. It's difficult to explain the point. I don't know. I guess like. 
Like, in games like this, the idea is to, like, get the most... Like, fights are an opportunity to build, like, combos and staggers and try and get, like, the most points imaginable. Okay, listen up, buddy. Oh my god, dude, no. Look at that, no dude. Fucking just and melts the health bar. By your hand. Oh yeah, let's hit him with that just, just right at the end there. Beautiful. Killing the game here. Pull him down. Let's go. Oh, we beat him. Nice! <clears throat> yeah, the, the whole thing is to find comp. Like, it's very similar to Tales of Arise in a lot of ways. Like, that's my analogue. That's my, like, biggest analogue, I think. Is, like, Tales of Arise. It bothered me at first, when I first started playing it, that, like, all the enemies were, like, damage sponges. But then I realised the point wasn't to kill the enemies as quickly as possible. The point was that every fight becomes this, like, this, you know, practice of, like, oh, how high can I get the damage meter? Like, I don't know. And I think that's quite fun. It's good. Um Odin is more about individual strikes as opposed to straight up damage. Right. I think that makes sense. Because they all sort of do different things. Um I think the sponginess only gets annoying for mobs at times. I mean I've not found for me anyway that the mobs are spongy. Or do you just mean like in general? Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think I've fought any mobs in this that are, like, particularly spongy. They're all pretty easy to dispatch. The most annoying, I guess, would be when you get those, like, mini, mini, mini bosses. That aren't even, like, mini bosses, but they're, they, they're just a mob that have, like, a, a boss health bar. You know? But, it's like, it really is almost like if, if Final Fantasy XIV was an action game. In a lot of ways. In, like, you've got to get your rotation, you know? Your perfect rotation to do the stagger and the damage. And it's just quite fun to get that into practice. And then to, to pull it off and to be really good. While weaving in your dodges and your parries. It's Jill from Final Fantasy 16. Oh my god, Sid's going to show up. Dude, this is going to be a fun playthrough. I can't wait, actually. This is so good to revisit, dude. It's been fun to be edit ed to edit these my original playthrough down into videos. Because it's been like getting to revisit the whole experience. Ah, it's the boy. Let's go. I can't remember the last time I replayed a game so soon after finishing it. Then there are boss games like the trolls in God of War. No! Shut up! I can't deal with this! No, no, the trolls in God of War actually have health bars though. Ah, uh, the music, let's go! Hey, it's the boy is Togu! Oh, I love this music so much. Dude, I fucking love Sid. I fucking love Sid. Best Sid. Best Sid, definitely. Hands down. Well, come on, then. Mine was Mass Effect, which has literally started right after finishing the trilogy for the first time. Really? 
You finished Mass Effect and then just started Mass Effect again. That's mad. I couldn't do that. Fighting a cow for multiple minutes. That's my favorite game. I don't know what I'm talking about. My proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? Yeah, I mean those instances, right? right, right I expected yeah. more from the mighty Titan. Oh my God! Yes, we get to have Benedicta scenes again. God. You put the Ice Queen on her back. I love her. No doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. I love her nose crinkles. It's the best. <clears throat> I never really play games with this, I just had to. Makes sense. It's just very fun to play. I also as well, when I played when I played this through, I left a lot of side content undone because I was like, I'm gonna do it now. So like, you know, I won't go around, you know, doing all the bonus stuff or doing the, the side quests or doing the hunts or doing like doing a load of crafting because I was like, well, when I play it on Final Fantasy difficulty, I'll be able to do all that for the very first time and it'll be more fun. So, Jill, I think that makes sense. Is it really you? <clears throat> Imagine if it wasn't really Jill. You know I killed her, so who is she? <laughs> and who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound. A fine hound who saved your life. That's all. Torgal. Hi. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Imagine if Clive was the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Woo! Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived. But I never paid them much heed. I love Sid's swords. I think they're very cool. I really want to replay Mass Effect soon, actually. Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Mass Effect's another one of those franchises that... None the worse for wear. I remember it so fondly. Oh, best to get a second opinion. Cause I literally played it when I when I took a big break from making videos. I I uh, cause like my head was fucked and I couldn't make a concert. I just binge played Mass Effect and it was great. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. No potions will be a hard challenge, but I'm not the man for that. I don't think. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to come back to 14. We'll be back. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Not next week, but maybe the week after? Because Elva's going to Ireland next weekend, so it won't be then. But the weekend after, August the 4th, maybe. Maybe we, maybe we start back up. Um, Mass Effect was so good, yeah. I love Mass Effect. I really love Mass Effect. Mass Effect 1 in particular has a certain vibe to it that I just really, really like. Just going around places in Mass Effect 1. I also really like 3 as well. Like, I feel like it's, I feel like 2 is, like, it's obvious why 2 is good. I quite enjoy the underrated nature of the first one and the, especially the third one. Like, there's a lot I love about Mass Effect 3. That I just had so much fun with. There was so many fun little moments. Like the the Citadel DLC, that's Mass Effect 3, isn't it? And like the Is it the Leviathan DLC? Is that what it's called? 
It's really cool, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, we'll try finish Shadowbring as into Orcus. That'll be good. Oh man, we're going to the old hideaway. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Imagine if you were in the middle of the Deadlands, what this would you place do? Dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. Imagine place would think to look. if you woke up and you were in the Deadlands, what would you do? Leviathan DLC is sick. It is, I like it a lot. I really like it. I really want to replay Mass Effect. Man, there's so much I, I want to do. But I can't. Home sweet home. I kind of, like, sometimes I really do wish that my, <laughs> like, what I made videos on was, wasn't games. Because <laughs> I want to be able to play games in my free time. But I can't. So I'm like, well, if I have free time and I'm going to be playing a game, I should be playing the one I'm going to make into a video next. Ah, the hideaway. Central Storm. We're home. Dum, ba -da -dum. Dum, da -da -dum. Dum, it's like a nectar. This place. Moogling along. These are full I love it. Well, Her. We didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. Top five times Clive suited himself. You're back. Imagine if he didn't suit himself. Ah, and he woke up in the deadlands. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots. Get her upstairs. Oh my god, I've got to reply to this well, fucking will... Don't email. Don't about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. We'll be fine. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. I wonder what we can do. We probably can't do much right now. Right off the bat, right? Um. Hideaway. Okay. Still hungry, are you? We still can't do anything like with blacksmith. Yeah, no, this part of the game you can't, can you? Yeah, there's nothing to do. Okay, Son let's go straight up to Sid. Into his solar. I can't remember what happens next. We go in search of the hooded man first, right? The little owl! You may want to replay this. Yeah. Well, you know. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. I do be like that. Alright. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the San Brequa Imperial Man, Army. Man, this this game is like such lines. a journey. Like this, With like to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant throat in the. It's chaos. crazy where they end up at the end. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. Man, I do love Sid. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Yeah, he really goes on like an arc. It's really good. Like, he just got, like, the, like, Clive at the beginning of the game just does not feel like Clive at the end. And he goes through so many little, little, little things that change him. Like, it's just, it's genuinely so good. said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? 
My main gripe with the game is the lack of a pie system well, and no nothing. Leviathan. No Leviathan. Well, life is her own now. It's a shame we didn't get to see Leviathan. To you, but... sir. Do you think I'll be talking to you? I do also like that we. Uh, is there is like what like we don't a see. I think it adds like a good, like you. an air of mystery. Of pie system, though, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Which is why we live in a cave. I think the game could be just even better if we had a party system. Imagine you could control Joshua and Jill. That'd be so sick. Branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Top five no's in the MCU. Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered. I think, dude, fire. watching this back when I was editing it, Phoenix is evil to I think Clive knows, right? Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today. Because of Joshua, 13 years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This like, I don't think it's revealed be when he becomes Ifri. I think it's... My last. Confirming what he already know, knew, but... Which is no. why you should join us. Couldn't admit. Which is, he says as much in the in the accepting the truth section. But one of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here. Gav. The Imperial village of Lostway. Among them is one he believes to be hey, a dominant back, of fire. Is he certain? Yeah, I, I do like that about Clyde too. So he does go asking? from. Uh, yeah, he has that, yeah, that hardened exterior. This doesn't mean I'm joining you. But he learns, yeah, learns the love and the compassion, and part of that is through Sid as well. Like, there's a large amount of Sid that you see in Clive post the five-year time skip, That's which I think ready, is then. really nice. Um, going to see Barbie and Oppenheimer? Oh, we'll I enjoy, man. You need down in the main hall. That's from yesterday. Well, they were very, both, back. both great, great films. Great films. Um... What was crazy though is that before Oppenheimer, they barely showed any um, any trailers or anything. Like they started the movie pretty much right away, which was so weird <laughs> and unusual <laughs> for like a giant IMAX screening of a film. Goods was it? But for Barbie, they showed loads. Sit I had to watch a load of fucking mission. shit trailers against my will. About that here. Uh, well, uh, there's old Nun's place. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith. Yeah, I think it's. it's I think it's. Then. I think he subconsciously knows that he's the one that did it. I think he subconsciously oh, does no, know. No, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. But over the last thirteen Might years, he's anywhere. convinced himself that Joshua was murdered by somebody else. And he's like, I can't possibly admit that it was me that did it, because if I do, then it changes his, like, he can't come to terms with that, like, you until it's staring him right in the what face, and he has to admit it. Sign for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing, and I need you to see to my equipment. Say that my nearest IMAX is two hours away, so it's a normal screening. Ah, oh, that sucks. I mean, I'm sure the movie will still slap, but, but... Is that so? That movie definitely, if you see it in IMAX, dude, it's a huge, huge part, of, huge, yeah, huge part of what made that movie for me was the IMAX of it all. Continental rum. Do you want that or not? Man, I ate I so much yesterday. I I still feel bloated. Damn you, me and Elva had so much to eat and drink. It was insane. All right, all right. <laughs> It was no too to much, HD. man. Let's have a look at you. It's just so long they couldn't couldn't afford to do the trailers. Yeah, they, actually, that makes so much sense. I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. 
They'd rather see their bear as dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Honestly, part Iron Belt plus four. Um, honestly, one of my favorite um, parts about going to the cinema, honestly, is watching the trailers. I don't, I don't think that's like a hot take though. I think a lot of people like. I mean, else? it's not the best part, but it's really fun. You know what I mean? It's really right. fun. Thank you. A uh, word of advice: Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Um, is the IMAX two D or three D? Two D. Um, how many cocktails? Um, it was three. Yeah, we had we quick? had three. Um, in like a hour and a half period. They were pretty alcoholic too. That that ship did get to, like when I stood up to leave i was like ah oh. <laughs> sorry would it be that's hit me more than i expected Ooh, the utterance of creation his word was the first so shall it be the last i can i can no maki i probably haven't said that right genesis 311 oh my god it's a bible quote it last you a good while Not bad, if I do say so myself. Broadsword reforged? You can thank me later. And? Very nice. The gift worked. You have my thanks. The ultimate weapon! Hey, uh, From Kingdom Ads? Come on! From King to Mats. Yeah, I said that about Goots too in my when I was playing it through. I like that he's not played as a meme. He's actually very charming and very sweet and people care about him and like he's a character and I, I like that. Because often you can get the, oh, he's a funny, silly, jokey character who's dumb and he's a dumb idiot. And that's all it is. Um, right. You're making comfortable while a bed's made up. Uh, in India, I was, I was thinking there were some issues. Because there are no 3D screenings of Oppenheimer. Oh, right, yeah. I don't, I don't know anyone that ever watches 3D films. I've, I've, I've never known that to be a popular thing. I've always hated 3D films, personally. So close to five minutes to draw after. You can't redeem it though. What the hell have I got myself into? Not allowed. Doesn't you're not allowed to do it. I took it off. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? Otto. Shit, at this rate he won't make it through the night. Come with the you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary. I took it off because I don't like doing it. Well, I don't think on. it's funny. Shift your ass. Is Tai the one looking after Jill? Man, I my um phone screen protector has gone all fucked in the corner. Oh, you can't even really see that. No, you can't see it. Um, but... It's really annoying me. Uh, let's go. If you... If you choose 3D over 2D, I want to blow your fucking brains out. There'll be time for tearful Jesus. when she's recovered. Tearful you're wanted downstairs. There you never made the Gotadamarung? No. Well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. Is that a problem? It's not the reason I watch your streams is to get points for it, you prick. 
This is like the last stream you also ever watching. Oh no, not another person who's like this is the last stream they're watching. I can't do any more. He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. I've been playing um Octopath Traveler 2. It's really cool. I like it a lot. It's got great music. Um my only, like, issue with it so far is that the party don't speak to each other. At least they haven't so far. And I'm like, ah, it's like a bunch of individual stories. And then they'll be like, hey, can I come with you? And you'll be like, yeah. And then you'll, they'll be in your party, but, like, they don't talk to each other. <laughs> or acknowledge that anyone else exists. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then just, re there, just redeem Sora cameo. I don't want to see that fat right. cat, you motherfucker. Oh. I'll sex. find you. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Oh, will right. you not, Clive? Will you not be staying? Is that right? Consider Bitch. yourself welcome. You helped us today. Oh my god, you've literally done a Sora cameo. Okay, I'll go get him. I'll go get him. You wait. You have to nearly finish the game to make the ultimate weapon. I mean, isn't that the same in, like, Kingdom Hearts? Don't you have to nearly finish the game to make the ultimate weapon? In that, too? It's usually, like, used for the ending of the game, isn't it? Is that the point? I suppose if it's a new game plus thing, you should be able to... Uh, I feel like you should be able to craft it as soon as you've unlocked everything in the world. Well, that Yeah, that's the point, though. Because then you've unlocked Ash. It'd be weird if you could craft it in the middle of the game, wouldn't it? Right? Alright, let me go get the dog. Hold on. Someone has asked for your presence, mister. Someone has asked. Hold on. Here we go. It's the dog. Beg? Good boy. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> Should we get you in the chair? Yeah. Should we get you in the chair, you fat fuck? He is a big, chunky boy. Look at him. Look at his chonker. Look at him. He is ginormous. Look at him. What a fella. <laughs> There's the fat fuck. Oh, no. What are they saying about you? What are they saying about you? Does that make you sad? He's looking at the ground. You've made him sad. You've upset him. Say sorry. It's Fenrir. No wolves! No wolves in Asgard. No wolves. Look at that smile. Look at him smile. Look at his smile. He's so happy. He loves the scratches. Look at his smile. <laughs> You're so funny. Yes, you are. Yes, I love you. I do. We all love you. We all love you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think he's just gonna fall asleep here, to be honest. He's pretty happy. I want a Doctor Who trailer. Me too. Sora, what do you think about the looming darkness? Do you have an opinion? What if Sora? What would you do if you ended up? Okay. What would you do if you ended up in Quadratum, Sora? What would you do with that? 
would you would you just deal with it? No, no. He's gonna go through my bin. You're not going through the bin. No. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. Except the door's closed. Should we open the door? Go on. There you go. Go ahead. Out you go. No, 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 no. Hang on. Go on. Out. Out, 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 out. Love you. Bye bye. Okay. He's gone. He's gone. Sora will be part of the organization. Oh man. That was great. He was he 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 was happy with that, I think. I think he was content. James bite him again. <laughs> he looks like one of those IKEA seals. True. True, he does. Um But, like Jamie said, I would also like a Doctor Who trailer. Um, I need supplies for my journey to Lost. I wonder when we'll get a new one. Probably soon, Otto right? Like in the next couple months. Like, What's well, that? it has to be. It's literally coming out in November. Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? I wonder if at the end of the sixtieth, they'll well, do a trailer for series Clive. fourteen. I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Mm -hmm. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank Not you again. for watching him. Not so, again. Were you gonna buy Remember something? that clip of Elvis shouting at Sora what? for eating? You didn't think what? I'd shower your lordship with my No, I don't remember that. Where is that clip? <laughs> That's funny. Life doesn't work that way, lad. Well, they were now, meant to show something at Comic Con. I say so. I'll show you whatever that is soon. I thought they, I thought they didn't have a Comic Con panel, right? You're rubbing me blind, you know. You're it's rubbing me blind, you know. Um, do we have? Oh wait, we have these weapons still. Ragnarok. Massive Moon name, eh? Excalibur. But none of them are quite as good as what we have currently, so it doesn't even matter. Um, can we sell our guild bugs? Do we have some guild bugs? Hello? Guild bugs? Hell yeah, it's they suck there. That's all. Why are you barely a guilty your name? You're taking his side now. In your office? Wait, After why would that even I'm happen? Done for you. <clears throat> all right. Um, all they were planning right. one. Make an I saw the recent reveals, but because of everything going on, I think they skipped. Oh, well, right. Just this once, mind. Right. So they might have a trailer prep, so maybe we'll see a trailer point. soon. I hope so. Thank you. Any, any, Fine any bay. more David Tennant I can get my hands on is Fine just, you know. Job. It's what I need. I can't wait. I can't wait for Dog 2. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. <gasps> side quests! Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do all of the side quests. Any of the side quests that I've already done, I'll skip. Um, we'll just like skip through them. I've done this quest, but I want to save where I've done them all, so we'll do we'll do them all. But I've done I've already done every every side quest from um How long has it been? before the time skip. It was only after the time skip I started Your picking food. and choosing. I was hoping <clears throat> it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Yeah. Doesn't this look fine? I think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solo, uh, but... Yeah. What kind fella? I liked this quest. It, it was, uh, it gave you a lot of insight into the bearers and stuff and the people of this place and like... Yeah, it's just very nice. Liked it a lot. 
soup. Just like water. That's the last one. Eh? I'd better like Kenneth now. Hi, Kenneth. All done, I presume. Splendid. They were bearers. What is this, Link? Three oh yeah, Links just work now for some reason. Waiting upon their master's pleasure, but oh god, no! Men waiting to be fed okay, like you're where I'm been. Indeed. That the sounds really dodgy. Ah, everyone's now thinking. Found it. Oh yeah, I don't know why Alva's underwear was in my Beyond bin. I'll be walks, honest with you. We are scorned as slaves, speaking only <laughs> when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. No. Okay, yeah, we can skip through this. Nice, we got the money. And a little touch of experience points. Very cool. Wait, let's go speak to um, Hippocrates real quick. Does it carry over all of your... <laughs> wizened man? Yours is not a... Well, we never but that. Does it carry this over? I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Ah, it does. I have quite the find for you today. Echoes. Why are these ones relevant? Barnabas' mother. Why is that one relevant? War of the Magi? From Final Fantasy VI? Hmm. What subject yeah. should we consider today? Well, I'm going to sit around reading law. Oh, let's just do this real quick. Retrieve the sacks. He level seven, so gives you some extra ones. Ah. Ah. I'm going to see Bob, Bobby Heimer. See you in a bit, last boy. Enjoy, Mac. Enjoy. It's the Hall of Virtue. <clears throat> you all done? Sure am, sir. Mm. Leaving already? Ah, oh, yeah. Wait, did we accidentally the complete this? I didn't mean to do that. Don't stop you going, does I wanted it? to go do the side quest. I think we'll get Should we'll have we another fight? like speak right. to Sid to leave, right? <laughs> James doesn't need the gym because he has to pick up Sora twice a day. That's mean. That's my son. But true. Where to next? Chicken. Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. Oh, I remember this one. We gotta go get this guy some wood. This guy needs some wood. Oh, thanks. Really, I'm gonna have to get started on that Red Dead video tomorrow. It's gonna be crazy times. Not long now until my um, GTA video comes out on the YouTube. World. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Guys, take this wood, sir. I got me to planks, or I'll let's take them back. I better get this too. Like, I could be honest, right? I completely understand why people would think these side quests are bullshit. I get it. But I, li I like it. Will this be enough? Like, it just, you know, it uses just like a menial task as a means to contextualize what ends up being a like like a gathering of information for the player 
to invest them in something. I don't know. I think it works, but I, I get it. I get why people would be like, oh, this is dumb. What dumb side quest? Could I do good side quests instead? I get it. I see I'm busy here. What'd you want? Mm. My best work. Reinforced belt. Sweet. Alright, we, we did everything we needed yes. to do. What? I think we can head Ooh, off now. Man. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Uh, oh, we can just check, do it from the map, can't we? Nice. How many trophies do you have? What, in 16? I don't know. Let's have a look, shall we? Oops. 30. So, just over halfway there. We've got a decent few more to go. What are they? To be a boss without taking damage. Holy shit. Um, execute and land heat wave two... Two heat wave counters in a single battle. What does that even mean? To beat five enemies in the air after using deadly embrace. What's deadly embrace? Is that. Is that this? That's easy. I should have got that already. That's crazy that I don't have that. What else is there? Oh, what's land gouge, wicked wheel, and rook's gambit in midair before landing? That's insane. Lure an enemy into a strike, strike into striking a lightning rod three times before it dissipates. This is going to be a bitch. Execute a precision dodge three times while charging a single mega flare. How have I not got that? That's easy. What the hell? Inflict permafrost on ten enemies by perfectly dodging attacks with cold snap. Hmm. Do, do hunts count as bosses? Okay, we'll, we'll figure this out as we go. We'll, we'll start once we, once we get towards the end of the game. I think that's when we'll start to really focus on the trophies we haven't got yet. Start mopping them up. Doesn't have difficult trophies, but somehow looks difficult. Right, so maybe they're not as difficult as it as it comes across. What? Bastard blood flies everywhere. Bastard blood flies. You Imagine you woke up and there was a bastard blood fly at the I end of your bed you showing you his PS4 outdoors. games collection. What would you do? You want every bounty hunter in storm hurrying us from here? To the holy capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? You know, the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. And a place like this that exists is a miracle in itself. I probably won't stream this again for another week, but. We'll be back in Imperial Land soon. Next oh. weekend, we can do a bunch of these. Never because Elva's gonna be away oh, visiting okay. Ireland, so I'm gonna have the weekend to myself. It'll be fucking. Time to grab some drinks, play some Final Fantasies. It'll be sick. It'll be a there sick weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Soon to hunting. Fearless as you like. I think the hardest sounds it's like the no damage boss. Back, yeah, but it depends what classes of boss. Like if hunts no, classes bosses. No in the forest after which I suppose mm, not. I think it probably means just main story bosses, right? That's probably what it means. Not many bosses, yeah, just main story bosses like They'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle. Hugo or How reassuring. Odin or something. You're welcome for that and the shortcut.
To be fair, couldn't I put on, like, the, the timely evasion ring or whatever? And just, like, would that... That would count. Hey, look at that gaming. Hit him with the gaming. Human's main story, yeah. That's disgusting. Oh, my, who the fuck are you? Who does that guy think he is? Oh, I don't think that worked. I was trying to get that Deadly Embrace trophy, and I think I fucked it. Come on then, buddy. Yeah, who do you think you are, mate? Lol, I suck. Oh, I was trying to get that parry, dude. Hey, there it is. That's the parry I was looking for. Thanks, buddy. Ow. Uh, okay. Look, I'm really good at this game. You know what? Let's just hit that. Fucking. Hey, we hit him with another parry. Look at us go. Never mind. I think I'm good at this game. We still have a way to go. So cool. I'm so fucking cool. Look at me go. If you're a pussy gamer, well, I am actually. I am a pussy gamer, so I will. I will be using the game's tools to manipulate it. So if I can, if I can beat a boss without taking damage by using the fucking Ring of Timely Evasion, I will do it. I will do it, and I will take no damage. It will be amazing. Yoshi P is like, well, I'll fucking laugh at him. I'll find Yoshi P and I will wring his neck. Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Man, watching that Riku is gay video has made me really just want to play Kingdom Hearts so bad. I can't wait to stream through the Road to Cage 4. It's going to be so fun. Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said to the deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs of these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. What? What the fuck did this heal them? What the fuck was that shit? God damn it, I don't know how the fuck to do this. What is cool what is doing that? It's that motherfucker. Listen, 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 listen. Fuck you. That, that, that counted, right? Hey, that counted. I swear that counted. Fuck's sake. Dude, I'm gonna fucking get this fucking trophy if it's the last thing I do. I don't know if I'm doing it. I don't know. We'll find out at some point. 
I don't even know if I'm. I don't, I'm, not, I'm clearly not getting that trophy. I don't know why what I'm doing wrong though. There you go. I saw. I saw. I like the music in the forest. I think it's good. Yeah. Thank you kindly. I suppose it's not a forest, is it? It's the Great Wood. So. Shit. You shout over. Hey, I'm trying to get there was a time they out trophies, alright? Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. I need to double check if I'm if I'm getting close to that one trophy. Because if not, I don't understand what the game wants me to do. Okay, I am, I am, I am. Defeat five enemies in the air after using Deadly Embrace. Come on. So I've done three. I need to do two more. <laughs> Mind your own. The only water in the forest is the uh, river. Uh, right, let's go. Okay. I'm gonna get this fucking trophy right now. Never mind, no, I'm not. Not yet, in a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I can see that. Doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does it? Who's that? Amazing gaming. Ow, bitch. Let's go. Might as well just fucking use this, why not? Go on, Torbo. Next set of mobs, alright? Next set of mobs, I'm gonna get that fucking trophy if it's the last thing I do. And it very well might be, you know? It, you know, really, you know, you never know these days. It could definitely be the last thing I ever do. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Must be a nest nearby. Alright. Uh, let's go grab this. Very nice, very cool. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit, I haven't counted on that. Don't worry, we got to go around here. Torgal knows what's At up. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Torgal. knows these woods. The last thing you'll ever do, the last stream I'll ever watch. <laughs> Don't do it to me, please. Okay, let's get that health way down, and then what I'll do... Why is there a green fool here? Oh, 
fuck. Come on, that worked. Did that not work? I think that was it. I think we got that one. Hang on, I can do this. Oh god. Hang on, if I could just get its health down just enough. No! Toggle! Oh yeah, let's take out this green fool. He's such a fool. Hell yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I should be Final Fantasy 16. I'm playing all the Final Fantasy games playing YouTube vlogs. Oh, sweet. Hope you're well. Oh, look at that. We got level 4. Beautiful. The fool is your nickname. That's really mean. We did what had to be done. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. I mean, I didn't I didn't hate taking out the green fool. I quite li like that, actually. So... Jokes on you, Clive Rossfield. Oh, this is the boss fight. We're already at the boss with the big armadillo boy. Does this count as a boss? If I were to beat this without taking damage, would that count, do you think? I think it might count. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is a story boss. I think this counts. What's it? It's Fafnir, isn't it? Alright, let's go. We're gonna beat it without taking any damage. Let's fucking go. You better hope so. You better hope so. This shouldn't take Classic Clive Rossfield. So much for your shortcut. It's still short. It's not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. I thought exactly. Okay, look. Did I just take damage? I think I just took damage. I'm not sure though. Okay. Well, I, I, I was trying to parry him, but that didn't work. Okay. Well, I tried, you know, dude. I, I tried. I really did try there. Okay. Fuck you, dude. Okay, we are struggling here. You know what? Let's just fucking use it. Dude, I suck so much. What am I doing right now? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm struggling, dude. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna beat a boss with... Unless... Can you, like... Can you, like, um... Replay. What if you replay? Because it says not in the Hall of Virtue, but like, could I replay one? Because that's not, that's separate. That's not the Hall of Virtue. So could I just max out my level and then... Man, that was really 
really bad. Stops, no one knows. Really gonna make a difference, really? I doubt it'll be that again. Not if we kill him first. I'll have to ask, I mean other people, like whoever whoever else has got this trophy, like which boss did they find the easiest one to do it on, I guess. There we go. I think I love it doesn't mean you're less likely to be here, just negates the damage. Yeah, no, but but what I'm saying is if I'm a higher level, I'm gonna kill the boss quicker. So there's less chance for me to get hit, because the boss will die really fast. So like... I think that would help, right? Oh my god. This is definitely harder. It's not like crazy harder though. But it's definitely harder to the point where I'm like, oh I I like I'm using a decent amount of my potions. Finish off this motherfucker. Sick of toggle. Maybe that'll be the way to do it. Maybe we get to max level, then we just like replay this boss. I'll just like kill it in like two hits. This is the scene I was thinking of where I think it looks like Clive knows that he's the one to kill Joshua. Oh, come on. Stand back. When Sid talks about icons, he like looks down at his hand, and I feel like that's an indication. But I'm not, I'm not 100. Doritos nacho cheese. And it was this sorry sack of bones rolling so fit to home. That's funny. I don't know what I was saying. What was I saying when you were gone? Sid. You say you want to help Dominance and Bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to I start like that a line, war. that's good. Got his hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's in this scene. Wait, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll point it out. Lad, but my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. 
a place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? Oh, it might have already happened. Shit. There's a moment where Sid's talking about icons and stuff, and Clive looks down at his hand. Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant of fire? What do you think? I thought it was that scene, I and it might have been, but I, brother. Cut I didn't notice it. Man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough was it? Raptors. <laughs> I think he woke up and there was just a rat sitting in your house. That could happen in the Final Fantasy 16 universe. You could wake up and there's a raptor in your kitchen. I love how they have chicken arms. It's really... I, I really like it. I'm not sure what the fuck I'm doing right now. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Okay, am I need to go down? Oh, really? Oh no! Okay, there you go. It's down a bit. Is that better? Man, I'm getting fucking tired. I've only been streaming for two and, a, two, two and a half hours. I have been up since 7 o'clock, to be fair, so, yeah. I took Sora for a week at like 9. Okay, it's better, right? That's good. That's good. Same. What you took Sora for a walk at, at nine as well? That's crazy. So James, I finish work at eight. Do you reckon you'll be streaming? No. I really do not think I'll be streaming still in three and a half hours. Um. See that river? But. I don't think I'm gonna stream 16 again until next weekend anyway, so... If you're free next weekend, then that'll be cool. And I won't stream in the middle of the day either, I'll stream in the evening as well. Because, you know, can get some drinks, play some 16, there'll be, there'll be some nice, you know, decently long streams, so I think they'll be that'll be quite fun. Oh my god! It's one of those! Fucking Chimera. Ow. Pull him down! Nacho cheat Doritos Nacho Cheese Dip is life changing. Is it really? Why is that? Oh wow, that was dumb. Nice. I also be there no matter what. Oh. Nice. Nice. Glad to hear it. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a good. It'll be a good weekend. I can just play a ton of 16, do a bunch of epic boss fights. Drink a ton of Henry Westons. Stay up late. It'll be good. 
It's like when your parents go away, you know? That's what it's like when Elva goes away. <laughs> um, it's like eating nachos. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I imagine so. That does make a lot of sense. Someone's far from home. Someone's far from Let's home. Follow him. God, I'm hungry too. Just down that way. All of them. This bit. I wish I was this man. Excellent. Jealous. Oh, I wish that was me. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Ooh. That's rough for him. I would let her do that to me though. I truly would. That woman. Benedict Harm. Mummy. Commander of Willard's elite intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Oh no! This man is here to stop the gaming! I don't believe it! Why would he do such a thing? I can't believe a car caught fire last night. I can't believe that's happened to you twice. Let's get this over with then. Was it the same car? <laughs> Yes, I got it! I got it! I got the trophy! Let's fucking go! That's one more trophy to add to our collection. Okay. Ow. Damn it. Damn it, I'm trying to get those parries. I just really suck at timing my attacks. Listen up, motherfucker. Listen up. I got some news for you, buddy. We gotta get that dagger. Hit him with that. Let's go. Very nice. Oh my god, I got a fucking parrot. Let's fucking go. Oh, nice. And I managed to... Wow, look at me go. Look at me on the fucking, you know... On the fly being able to do gaming moves like that. Let's go. We got to level 5 too. That didn't really do much at all. I kind of expected more to be honest. Oh well. In the same area of the street, just the other side. That's men's <laughs> BRP putting my nacho cheese dip away. I should have been using my break. I'm so dumb. Oh no, he's a gamer! He's doing gaming now! 
What's up, buddy? I don't like Magic Burst. I don't know why, I just don't like it. That's where you just do this, right? I don't know why, I just don't like the window of like, I can't alternate it, like, I don't know. Slow and I can't ever hit it properly. Like it, the timing is weird, and I, it doesn't. I don't know. It's just not been sinking into my head. Parry. Let's get that damn parry. Uh oh, he just performed assassinate on me. Fellas, that's an assassinate. Oh my god, fuck off. There it is. <laughs> Magic Burst sucks ass. I mean, I imagine it's more efficient. Like, it is efficient to do it. I just... I just... I don't know why. I just hate using it. It doesn't... I think... To me, it just doesn't feel very good. I just can't do it. So you go like that, and then like that. I, nah, he won't just won't never do a follow up. It's so annoying. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. Okay, well. Should have got that sunset so you can fucking hit on him. Holy heck. <laughs> Epic. 
epic return to roots in the forest where there are many roots. <laughs> Practice. Yeah, true. I could get. Yeah, I could try and practice it. But I'm more an in the field kind of guy, you know what I mean? Nice! Holy shit, we just got 37,000 XP from doing that. Well, certainly leveled up, that's for sure. So true, Sid. That's so true. Though you fight like a true shield of oh, reserve. Man, I don't know how long you keep going for. I'm Although so tired right now. That. <laughs> Genuinely really tired. And hungry too. Speaking of which, I'd probably call it a day soon, and then we can do a big a big old bash of it next week. Blessings, do you, think? you don't believe me. Oh, I think this is the scene. Created, did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies, and even that can take years. Thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which I'm pretty sure it happened. One person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. There in our swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the body? Maybe I'm just wrong. Well, Maybe I've got scenes mixed up in my head. Disappointed. Yeah, maybe I did. Shit. That's annoying. I thought I noticed a cool subtlety, but it turns out I'm just wrong. <laughs> That's really funny. It's not really funny, it's sad. The Holy Empire, Zandbreg. Alright, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be getting the ultimate weapon from Zandbreg. I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea? We're going to get 5 XP. I'm going to be able to be able to get all of the XP from all of the enemies. I've heard some call it an airship. Those flying days seem to be behind it. Shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? I'm actually genuinely surprised this is the first Final Fantasy game. Which is why I think we should hold Without an airship. It might not be. That might be a lie. <laughs> I might have made that up. You forgot everything about this opening? It's because it's a shit game. Is it me or is he running quicker? I feel like he's quicker. Am I losing my mind? Am I losing my mind? He just feels quicker. Figures up ahead. But are they friends? This is the first Final Fantasy game. That's so true. That's it. I'm gonna try doing magic first. Hey, look at that, that was cool. I've never done that before. Stay down. Wait, fuck it. I'll just do this. This should kill him. Isn't it crazy that one day it really will be the final fantasy? I feel like I've said that before. 
Saying that out loud, I do think I've said that exact sentence before, probably several times actually. Why? What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. See, it's weird because Final Fantasy 16 sounds normal, but Final Fantasy 35 sounds really dumb. Do you think we'll ever get to that point? Final Fantasy 35. Like, it sounds so stupid, but maybe it won't by the time we get there, you know? Once we're there, it might be like, oh, that's normal. No sign of the royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scouts. You start here, I'll circle around the back. Not How in our lifetime, that's so him? sad. Good question. Shout. But that means Final Fantasy will be going for like a hundred years. Isn't that kind of insane that at some point they'll do they'll be like, oh, it's the hundred year anniversary of Final Fantasy. That's mad. I don't, I don't like it. Like There's it. no precedent for gaming. Like this can't be completely abandoned. Can it? Gaming is like yet to transcend the generation that invented it. Giant. All right, let's go. It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I were with the Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In, in the church. We should live to see the Doctor Who hundredth anniversary. Make though. sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? Forty years from now. I'll be 66. Yeah. Assuming that I don't, like, die of, like, some sort of, like, you know, awful accident or illness or something. Should be around for the Dog 200th anniversary. Where they bring back David Tennant again. <laughs> David Tennant's, like, you know, 90. They wheel him out. He's breathing through a respirator. Be my 66th birthday. Oh my god, that's so crazy. <laughs> you'll be 66 and you'll be like, Oh, it's the Doctor Who 100th anniversary specials on TV. And RTD's back. The <laughs> resurrected him. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Unless he's still alive. I mean, how old is RTD now? About time. Back. 60? Oh yeah, no. He will not... Russell Davis will not be around for the 100th anniversary of Doctor Who the hell are you? Clyde! <laughs> Clyde. You weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? Barely. That's crazy. When Doctor Who turns 100, Russell T. Davis will also be turning 100. He could, I mean, he could make it. People have lived that long. Like, it's not out of the question. It's weird, because, like, my grandparents are still alive, and they're in their 80s. And I'm like, that's crazy, because there's no way I'm making it to my 80s. All the generations are just built different, man. They're able to, like, live and sustain themselves for longer somehow. Because there's no way I'm living to 80. Like, I feel awful on a daily basis, and I'm not even 30. There's no way I'm making it to 80. Like, I'd be surprised if I lived to be 70. And, like, I don't mind that. That's alright. I think that's fine. Because I can't imagine living at 70 is, like, even that fun, you know? Like, what are you going to do? Like, nap for most of the day and then watch daytime TV? I don't fucking know what old people do. Any word from the scouts? Not yet, my lady, but we are the dominant companion. It's only a matter of time before we see It must be weird. 
like it must be weird aging and getting old because it's weird to think about the fact that like I'm trying to think of how to phrase this but like as you get older you realize that like consciously you're not older right like you kind of start to realize that like oh I don't feel like I'm getting older you know what I mean like it's been six years since I turned 20 and I don't feel different like I don't feel like what I envisaged being 26 was like when I was like you know 14 is not how it actually feels in your brain so like when you t when you are in your 80s you must also feel that too but it must be so weird because, like, you're consciously, like, I'm 80 years old and my body is, like, frail. But in your head, you're like, what the fuck is going on? How has this happened? I don't know if that's crazy. And instead of killing them, you leave Maybe I'm losing my mind. But... Mercy. <laughs> that's something that I've considered. I wish Benedicta would stab me in the back. Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. An imperial bearer. I was getting bored. What are these Twitter notifications? Oh, it's likes and things. Very cool. I love getting likes and things. Oh, we're going to do this boss now, don't we? She summons her echoes. Wait, no, they're not echoes. Are they? What are they called? These boys that she summons? Like, apparently all icons could do that. That's what the lore thing said. So... Does that mean Ifrit what could do that? that? This means what I think it does. Sid has some explaining to do. Oh, we hit that parry. Beautiful. Isn't it crazy that I'm, like, just fighting Garuda gamers with Garuda powers? They're probably like, where'd you even get that from, dude? Getting close to getting that stagger. Listen here, motherfucker. Let's go, Zatatsukin. Beautiful. Garuda Gamers. GG. That's what GG stands for. Every time we do a trial or a dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV and we finish it with people that we've searched for in the duty finder, we go Garuda Gamers and chat. <laughs> and they're like, Garuda Gamers to you too, man. Garuda Gamers to you too. You've got Holy shit, fighting. it's 21 degrees outside Even of the park. Oh man, I think I'm gonna wrap up after this cutscene. Because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. Wee. Wee. GG said.
screwed gamers. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question, Lord Commander. Why? Epic style. Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? I love the dynamic and the whole story between Benedicta and uh, Sid. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Wait, is this the first time we see Gav? It is, isn't it? Look at him. What a fine fella. Did she say where she was gone? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. I love Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Hey, the nose like his. I'm convinced they watch my streams and they're in on the joke. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Okay. We can skip this. We don't need to watch every single cutscene. Um... And also, I really want to wrap up because I am top. No! <laughs> I didn't mean for a load of cutscenes to play in succession. I'm so tired and hungry. I need to end a stream. I can't do this. Okay, sweet. Alright, we'll wrap things up here. Um. Not that settled. And we'll uh, we'll continue next weekend. That's the plan. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, should we save over that? Or oh, I'll delete that. We'll create a new one. Um, all right. Yes. Cool. Thank you for joining me. I've really enjoyed playing a little bit more of this and getting into the the, the new game plus and starting it up. But we'll be live next weekend. Um, if maybe Friday, but if not Friday, then definitely Saturday, Sunday. Um, so that'll be cool. But thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you all next weekend, and we'll have a. Uh, we'll do. We'll do even more. It'll be sick. It'll be good. It'll be great. I'm looking forward to doing more gaming. Um, but that is it from me. I'll see you later, everybody. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your day. I'm gonna go eat, and it's gonna be great. And that's going to be really cool. Love ya. Bye.